Okay, now this next interview shows you the power of the internet, man. How it gives power just to the average person to change lives, change your own life, change the lives of others. Now, this is a guy who was really a hockey player. Yeah. Uh, he didn't even finish college yeah, or go to college, I think, because he was playing hockey. And then he got into surfboarding. Yeah. And actually, he, he wanted to go to Manila uh, or somewhere in the Philippines to go surfing. And because of the devastating you know, hurricane they had, it wiped out villages, communities, or whatever. So we just sort of like parachuted in over there to see if he could help. I mean, he's not a rich guy, yeah, or anything like that. Just felt, hey, I need to help. I mean, there's so many people that need help in our country or other countries or in the world. I and mean, we were all living in this nonsense together. And, and that's why we're here. The comfort is that other people can maybe help you. I mean, that's so neat. So that's what he wanted to do, was go over there. And, and this village that, that he landed in, man, they wiped out everything. There are no more coconut trees. They had nothing to live on. That's how they lived, was on the coconut. So he started a business right in this little village with no money again to, <laughs> to, for them to make coconut oil, you yeah. know? And right there, instead of like harvesting the coconuts, sending them to the States or some other place that process it, then the farmers get very little money. What he's doing is with appropriate technology, not just big monster equipment, but just hand kind of equipment to make the oil themselves and market it that way. And he's selling it on the internet. That's right. And he's crowdfunding on the internet with that. So that's what I mean. It's just knowing a little skills to get that. It's not skills at all. I mean, for your nonprofit, where you are, whatever, your local public library will show you how to do that. You don't have to hire some expert or some 12 year old nephew. <laughs> you could figure this out yourself because it's getting easier and easier all the time. It's sort of like learning to drive a car. You know, I mean, imagine when we were all riding around horses at one time, and then these cars, whoa, 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 how are we going to do that? And now it becomes so easy, and the software is easy, all the roads. <laughs> Before, with the first car, there were no roads, right? <laughs> so the idiots about the first car had nowhere to go, and the horses were faster. But eventually, this new technology takes over, like the internet. You know, you may be the last time you tried, if you're new to this, you know, you go, oh God, it's so complicated, I'll just use a pen and pencil or whatever. But no, it's becoming easier. Stay with it because that's where the opportunities are. And not only solve problems for yourself, but to solve problems for other people too. What could be greater than that than coming out and being soup? Superman! <laughs> and we all have that talent now to be able to do it. The tools are there no matter who you are. You don't have to be have a lot of money to do anything or solve problems in the world. You don't have to lobby Congress to get things solved. You can do it yourself. So watch him. Watch how he does it. Will Louder. Is that it? Louder? Louder. Lauder, okay. Will Lauder, a professional hockey player, right? <laughs> At age 16. <laughs> well, that's terrific. But now, man, you went from hockey player to surfer to saving the whole goddamn world now. <laughs> but what you're doing is terrific, I think. And it's, it's uh, uh, how do you say the city? Uh, Kapu, help me. What, what's the? Kapuluan. Kapuluan? Kapuluan. Kapaluancoconut.com. And, and that you're selling coconut oil from uh, the Philippines. And you ran into, you went over to the help after a hurricane and saw these impoverished coconut farmers that lost their livelihood and everything. And so you're really starting them to not only farm, but to make coconut oil there. So they're getting more of the rewards for their product. <laughs> Instead of a penny on a dollar, they're getting a lot more than that from every sale because now they're in business. And it, you single-handedly did this with no PhD, no connections, new, no NGOs or knew nothing, just helicoptered in there somehow <laughs> <laughs> and started it all just from your heart is really what it's about, isn't it? Right. You're making it happen. Man. Yeah, it's just an extension of an experience that changed my life. You know, it sounds cliche. Yeah. I say that all the time, but it's uh, it's meaningful. Well, that's the only reason to work. Why can't we? I mean, that's right. Now you have a meaningful way, reason to get up in the morning and can't wait to work so fucking hard for all these people who really need it, right? Absolutely. I mean, whenever you have a, a shitty day or... 
Yeah. Um, something goes wrong. You know, I think about my friends in the Philippines and what they've been through and, you know, how difficult uh, some of their lives are and the challenges they face. We got, we got. So sitting in traffic for an extra five minutes is really <laughs> is probably maybe the worst thing that happened to you today. <laughs> I have a car. I mean. Right. right. Yeah. But more importantly, you got a passion to get up to do something productive with your talent and your skills and you're using the heck out of them, right? To, to help, you know, could be thousands or even millions of people someday, you know, that are in poverty over there as, as coconut farmers. But your coconut oil is terrific. <laughs> and they're making it right on the ground there in the Philippines. They're not selling coconuts here, right? And making it here in the United States. You're making it there so they get a bigger piece of the action here. Yeah. Absolutely. It's just basically letting them make uh, or, or helping them to make better use of their existing resource. You know, right now, most often they just sell the, the raw coconut or they produce a product called Copra. And uh, yeah, it's, it's very low value and they're exploited. So. And it looks like you're using appropriate technology to make the oil there. I mean, you're not bringing in big, you know, billion dollar factories or something like that. I mean, there's sort of like handmade technology you're doing. Is that true or not? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we wanted to have like a quadruple bottom line and include uh -huh. culture uh, as, as a part of that. So, you know, you go into these, these impoverished communities that have they've had sort of a way of life for, for a long, long time. And it's simple. And, you know, sometimes we, we think about, about that and think that our, our life or North America or whatever is better. But then we often want to go vacation in places like right. these because they're tranquil, they're quiet, they're peaceful, they're beautiful. And, you know, to go in and say that we have a better way and that we're going to build this huge factory and put everyone in white jackets and stuff like this is ridiculous. So, have, you know, a great impact on the community, but very little or no impact on the culture and really just, you know, work hand in hand with the farmers to make better use of the resource in a manual way that, you know, promotes teamwork and is gender neutral and uh, just fits right in with the community. So do they know what gender neutral means? <laughs> I mean, uh, but what you have is this copra or this coconut industry, and it, it's very difficult. You know, it's hard work. Yeah. They're climbing up to the top of these 100-foot trees, and um, it's it's tough, tough work. And most often, women cannot be a part of that. It's just that but way. now they're a part of it through the manufacturing process out there, right? Is that what you're doing? Yeah. So how did you get so smart to, to do all? I mean, you just sound, you know, so intelligent and, and creative you know, to see the bigger picture of things. It's so easy. And especially a marketing guy. I mean, what could be more <laughs> ruthless than a marketing guy? That's what you were doing before. <laughs> but I think marketing is sort of changing. It's evolving. And it's now it's more about a conversation uh -huh. rather than just trying to drill a message in. You know, uh -huh. it, it's a, it's a two-way thing. It's not just one way anymore. So it works uh -huh. the storytelling and, and sort of what we want to do in terms of our objectives in the Philippines, but also just how we treat everybody, you know, and, and trying to make our experience great for our customers, for the farmers, and for everybody who's a part. So, no, I think you're right. I mean, watching the videos and uh, whatever, it it, uh, it it feels so more, I mean, the community involved and all that kind of stuff that it's easy to make fun of when you live in a big city in the United States, but boy, it, it really makes you feel more alive. I mean, when you watch your video on your Indiegogo site, man, you feel, God, you know, why can't we all live like that, you know, and, and being comforted by other people instead of having to wake up every morning and think we have to fight the hell out of everybody. <laughs> what a waste of energy. We're all here with the same problems. <laughs> yeah, and you found that already as a young man. I mean, that's amazing that it's so great. I mean, you know, I think you should be honored for finding this so early in your life, yeah, and uh, to con be able to contribute so much, you know, and, and feel that you're making a difference because you see it. I mean, these interviews with the people you have on your website are, boy, they're, you know, they're obviously their lives are changed. They had nothing before you came there <laughs> because the hurricane took everything. <laughs>
Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think I'm fortunate as well. You know, things happen in life and I just ended up on this path and, you know, I wasn't really expecting. I was actually working on another business before I went to the Philippines after Typhoon Haiyan and it just stuck with me. I just couldn't couldn't forget it and it was there for a reason. So, yeah. Um, but what yeah, was the other business? Uh, it was like a tech sort of business. It was a, a mobile and web application for... Uh, for surfing and, and snow, oh, like see. specific properties. So uh-huh. it was kind of an uh, Airbnb kind of thing, but more, more surfers, on an experience. So. Yeah, well, that's more yuppie kind of stuff to do, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, when I started thinking about what I wanted to do with Capital Luan, it wasn't really very hard to just let that business slide a little bit yeah. and start doing something more meaningful. Well, good for you. Now, how can we get the oil? Now, are you packaged and ready to ship now or it's going to take some time? Yeah, so we have a raw organic coconut oil on our website right now uh-huh. that we're able to purchase. And what we're doing on Indiegogo is implementing this handmade DME coconut oil, and that's that's the objective in the Philippines. DME means what? DME means direct micro expelling. And, uh, <laughs> See, I didn't go as much cool as you did, and I, so I don't know what all this means. <laughs> it invented, it's a, a way of processing coconut oil that was invented by a fellow by the name of Dan Etherington. He's got a PhD from Stanford University, (laughs) basically dedicated uh, his life He's an agricultural economist or economist, sorry. And he's dedicated his life to to not only the coconut, but using the coconut to alleviate poverty. And so he's he's developed this system that that we're implementing where it's the the man. Wonderful. So that's the campaign on Indiegogo. And, And what's the bottom price to get in on? Yeah. Well, we'll plant a tree for five dollars. Oh, so. wonderful! So five bucks, I could plant a tree. <laughs> a plum tree, and that was our our original yeah. uh, sort of plan was to do this one for one program. I see. Uh, Tom Shoes and some other company right. made it sort of famous. Uh, so for every time we sold our coconut oil, we're gonna plant a coconut palm tree, and and that's being done to help the farming communities recover from the destruction of Typhoon right. Haiyan. And now Typhoon Hagapit, which last year destroyed another 30 wow. million trees or so. Um, and then obviously sustainability. And we have these global warming issues and carbon emissions and all this kind of stuff. So planting trees helps that as well. So it's really sort of covers a few bases. Right. Um, but, <laughs> but how about how much to get you know, the new oil that's coming out? Uh, 14 bucks. 14 for, well, that's nothing. And, and can I get it for Christmas presents too? Or uh, that'd be, I mean, coming into holiday season... Uh, there have been some people placing some bigger orders backing us for, uh, I'm sure, gift giving and that yeah. kind of thing. I mean, it's perfect for that. Uh, everyone but, loves it. I mean, you'll be shipping in, in time for Christmas? Uh, just after Christmas, actually. Yeah, okay. But, so we can uh, give a thank you card, I mean, a little note or a picture or something yeah, under the tree. You're going to get your coconut oil. <laughs> yeah. it's really, the coconut oil is fantastic. It's the world's finest quality coconut oil. It's wow. the freshest, the, the fastest processing in the world, handmade. But the real thing you're going to be giving or contributing is helping to improve the livelihood of these coconut farmers and, and just making the world a better place, yeah. better standards for coconut farmers, planting trees. I mean, we're really trying to do a lot. Yeah. So. But still, I mean, it's got to be better product because if you're making it right there, you're not shipping the coconut to you know, California to put it together or something like that it's all done right there an hour after it's picked off the tree it must be a hell of a lot better yeah oh well so nice you're there help of the world and and getting so much out of it yourself because that's you're selfish really because you love all that hard work (laughs) (laughs) and you go to uh kapaluana right something like that kapu kapaluan uh k-a-p-u-l-u-a-n coconut dot com and then we see will's video and all the beautiful people that he works with in the philippines so thank you so much will take care thank you very much for having me uh,